So, welcome to this F5 uh, video on budgeting. Um, in F5, budgeting uh, appears in a variety of ways. First of all, um, you may well get uh, a question on a different area where for one part of the question, they're just asking you about the way in which you could forecast next year, the sort of budgeting systems you could use, and so on. Uh, another way in which budgeting could appear, or part of the uh, area we're going to look at today uh, in a question, might be you're trying to put together the relevant cost of a, a project or a contract, and the labour force is uh, subject to a learning curve effect. So we might uh, have to use the learning curve formulas in order to work out the number of hours we expect and therefore the cost we anticipate. Or it might be that the overheads uh, are not given explicitly, but uh, a split between variable uh, overheads and fixed overheads, but we're given different production levels and we are uh, given the total cost. We have to work out or approximate, uh, estimate the uh, variable costs per unit for overheads and the fixed costs from that. And we look at uh, those two calculations, learning curve and uh, the way to estimate from that information, the variable overhead per unit and the fixed costs, um, in a few minutes. Um, there have been uh, occasional questions which are concentrated much more solely on budgeting and asked about the ways to budget and asked about the advantages and disadvantages. Um, those parts which do ask about the advantages and disadvantages and different methods are primarily factual parts, so the calculations and anything else like that is going to be revolving around um, forecasting for a contract, for a project, uh, looking at learning curves and looking at those overheads. So if we look at the material, uh, you can find for the first uh, couple of pages are about that factual information, uh, just to run through it. Uh, so I'm not going to spend very long uh, reading everything out to you, but just to uh, look at what we've got, what you're expected to know. So the types of budgeting approach, uh, the reasons for budgeting, why do we budget? Well, Partly uh, because it's sensible, it will help to coordinate activities and make sure we've got enough resources for what we're intending to do. We can put plans into action. Um, it sets out the whole overall plan for the organisation, for the period, what we're trying to do. Uh, it allows us also to delegate, if we're careful, some areas of the operations so that uh, you know, people have a budget, they're given a plan, they know what they are supposed to be doing over the period and then uh, the day-to-day -day operation that is delegated to them. And uh, linked with that, uh, it may well be that you want to then evaluate their performance. And one way in which to do that, maybe not the only way, maybe it's connected with other performance measures, but one way is to uh, see how they performed, uh, what they managed to achieve uh, in that area compared with what was planned in the budget. Two or three different uh, methods uh, in which we can actually set about that. The, uh, the main uh, split is between incremental budgeting and zero-based budgeting. Incremental budgeting does what it says uh, in the title, incremental, a bit extra. So what it does is it takes last period's budget as a starting point. So it's, well, that's what we had for last year. What has changed from last year? Prices have gone up by 3% and so on. So we'll put everything up by 3%. It's slightly more uh, sophisticated than that, possibly. Uh, so it may well be you look at last year and think, yes, but we're not doing that, that or that. But we are doing those extra things. And uh, this has happened. So we adjust last year's for what we know are changes from last year to this year. And some things will go up, some things might go down. But it is using last year, last period, as the base on which we're then uh, working. Different to that is zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting, or ZBB, doesn't look at last period at all. It starts with a clean sheet of paper and says, right, what do I need, what I'm going to do in this coming period? So let's plot out what I'm going to do. Let's think about what I need in terms of material and space base in buildings and machines and labour force and so on. Put it all together in some ways. Uh, the yield 
is simply saying how much this 6050 should have produced. So